Hey guys, JJ here with another bubble tip. And today we're talking about satellite database types. Now, if you guys know me, this is something that I've been preaching for a long time. It's a concept that I originally learned from Peter Emil and Emil Solutions, and who knows where he learned it from, but it's something that I integrate into all my database builds. It's also something that I teach in my professional database course really heavily. I show you how to build these satellites, when they make sense in your build, how to manage them, all that kind of stuff. So if you enjoy this tip, maybe check out that course for more information. But until then, let me show you why this is so beneficial. So here we are in a dashboard that was designed by James Moore using the Made With Frames extension. Now, I want to show you this listing field right here. So this is a repeating group that is showing four different fields on the customer data type. Now, from afar, this looks harmless, right? It's just a quick little load, just showing four different fields. But let's get into the database type, and we'll see quickly that this customer data type has a lot of fields on it. I mean, it could have, you know, this for example purposes is not that many fields. Once you get to 20, 30, 40, that's even more fields, right? But nonetheless, you get my point. And to expand on that point, this also has list on it, right? And so this, say, let's say the customer here has 5,000 tweets that are saved on this list field for this customer type. So not only are you loading this entire customer type and all the data, only to show these four fields, but you're loading lists of thousands of things that potentially could be there, right? And that's what you don't want to do, right? Because that is a longer search, that is a heavier search that costs more workflow units, and that brings more data to your client side, which is then accessible to anybody to access that. And even though you might not display it, you can still access it client side if you know what you're doing, right? So that's a security, performance, and workflow optimization thing. So this is where satellites come in. Instead of showing or querying the entire customer type, what we do is we create a new type called customer satellite or customer expanded, okay? And in this type, we have only the fields that we need to show in this repeating group, okay? And then we also relate it back to our parent data type. So now what we do is we query the, the satellite type, and it only shows these fields super safe, super lightweight, uh, super secure. And then when you click on that customer, then you load that parent or that related data types full uh, data type, and then it makes sense to load all that data information. But you don't do it beforehand. So satellites allow you to have faster listings that are more secure and that are set up to perform in the long term. Because this satellite is really not going to grow that much. But your customer data type could grow further as your app continues to grow. And that would mean that that listing would continue to slow down as you add more weight to that. But by segregating the satellite to its own listing, very rarely change, which means that performance will always be top notch. And it gives you the flexibility to keep on adding to your customer data type should you just need to save more data. So if you enjoyed this, please check out my professional database course on No Code Alliance or follow me on Twitter or subscribe to my this YouTube channel for more. I'll catch you in the next one.